This is Father Trey Nelson with a homily for Trinity Sunday, the weekend of June 6 and 7, 2020. The core theme is, may our lives, not just our words, say, peace be with you. Bishop Shelton Fobb, originally a priest of the Diocese of Baton Rouge, and now the Bishop of the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau here in Louisiana, and the chairman of the U.S. Bishop's Ad Hoc Committee Against Racism, has invited us to offer the following prayer, especially during these difficult days. Let us pray. Mary, friend and mother to all, through your Son, God has found a way to unite himself to every human being, called to be one people, sisters and brothers to each other. We ask for your help in calling on your Son, seeking forgiveness for the times when we have failed to love and respect one another. We ask for your help in obtaining from your Son the grace we need to overcome the evil of racism and to build a just society. We ask for your help in following your Son so that prejudice and animosity will no longer infect our minds or hearts, but will be replaced with a love that respects the dignity of each person. Mother of the Church, the Spirit of your Son Jesus warms our hearts. Pray for us. Amen. It could be said, and in fact has been said, that there are three storms bearing down on us all at once. The pandemic and the uncertainty connected with that the storm storm out there in the Gulf, and violence, and all of the issues connected to it. Not to mention, most, if not all of us, have storms going on in our personal lives to one degree or another. Some have lost their jobs or had their hours cut back. Some have been sick or have had a loved one who has been sick. Families have suffered the loss of loved ones in death. And then there are the day-to-day -day issues, such as caring for your aging parents, if that's your responsibility, keeping your children occupied during the summer and safe and healthy, realizing that the start of school is less than three months away. And in the midst of all of this, trying to all stay healthy and hopefully happy. Looking to the image of what's going on in the Gulf, it could be said that it is truly a stormy time right now in many ways. To me personally, it sometimes seems that peace is hard to come by. But here's the thing about peace in our personal lives and beyond. It does not just happen. We have to want it and we have to consciously choose to work for it. In Scripture today, St. Paul urges us, Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace. If you and I are experiencing tension and turbulence in our own personal lives, then we must stop in prayer and breathe and allow God to comfort us and give us the peace that only God can give. There is no substitute for that. If you and I are concerned about and concerned for peace in our world, our nation, our communities, then we must be willing to bring understanding and compassion into our conversations with one another. Violence, whether physical or verbal, is the opposite to the kind of peace that only God can give. If you and I want to be brother and sister to one another, whether in our families or beyond, then we must be willing to consider each other's feelings and say, peace be with you, not just with our words or our good intentions, but our actions. Mother Teresa once wrote, if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to one another. The belonging to which she refers is the basic belief that God is Father and Creator of us all. Each and every one of us has as our life source God, the same God who created the universe, 
the same guy, God who established the sun by day and set the stars by night made us. It is God's image and likeness in which we are all created. And when we forget this, things can come undone anywhere and in any relationship. Today is a special feast day in our church, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. The mystery of the Trinity, God as three persons but one God, is something that we will never fully understand in this life, but we are called to model our lives after that mystery, to live in community as best we can, as Christ himself did and would today, that the whole of our lives, our thoughts, words, conversations, and actions would say, peace be with you. And that the gesture and words known as the sign of the cross would not be for us just how we begin and end each prayer, but how we begin and end each day. Thank you for listening. Happy Trinity Sunday. I hope and pray you have a good week.